Welcome to the rant. To the rant. Just gotta push that button. I done pushed the button. No, I gotta push the button too. I did. No. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. Welcome to the 18 Wheel Talk Podcast Show. Rant number two. Hey, we're not just a podcast for truckers. Just saying. Yeah, a little humor, a little laugh, a little, what's going on today? Hey, this is rant number, number two, 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 two. two. <laughs> two. You're doing we're bunny ears. You. Oops. Click. <laughs> I wasn't doing bunny ears. I know. I was doing two. I know. You were dancing around. What's up? What's up, what's up thug? Not much. What's up with you, thug? I want to talk about cancel fucking culture. Bleep. Oops, I just I just drooled on my microphone. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Well, I know I'm sick of it. Yeah. I want to cancel it. I want to cancel cancel culture. Oh, okay. Me too. That's that's what I want to do. Well, why do you want to cancel it? As he takes a drink. <laughs> Timing. Sorry, my, my throat was dry. Okay. Why? Because I think what they do is wrong. Okay. Do you see it as accountability, censorship, or punishment? Yes. I, I see it for the most part as it used to be accountability, but now it's just, it's punishment. It's people saying, I'm right. Cancel, you're always wrong. Cancel culture thinks that, like you said, like you just said, they think they're right. They want to rewrite history. Mm -hmm. Okay. History is history for a reason. Yeah. And so we can look back at where we were cur currently look back where we were a hundred, 200 years ago and say, look, look where we are now. That's what history is about. That's what history is. But cancel culture is trying to change that. Oh, I don't like what they did back then. So let's rewrite fucking history. Yeah, let's I'm sorry. We have amendments. We have the constitution. We have rights. Y'all can suck it. Sorry. We've changed as history has progressed. Yes. That's why it's called history. history. It's behind us. History. So I don't see the need to erase it or to cancel it. So I really believe they're wrong. And so I want to give a little example of how cancel culture can be so wrong. I know I'm going to pronounce this actress's name wrong, but she's an actress from Mulan. Okay. Lou Yaifi. Okay. Okay. Yep. She was in Mulan and she had an image she reshared on online that people thought was wrong. So rather than just canceling her they canceled the whole they show. went after the whole show and everyone was this it. was this the broadway show or the movie i think the uh movie okay i think i'm not sure you know we'll have to look that up we'll have to, yeah we'll we'll, we'll 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 get the statistics oh, it's the no 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 it's the film because it was boycott mulan boycott the film oh i got you okay um it's not just about her but everyone who a lot of people who made the film were affected by it because they were they weren't boycotting; they were canceling. And there's a yeah, they're huge trying to cancel it. Yeah, exactly. If you don't like something, boycott it. Yeah, because when you boycott you, it, you just ignore it. Yeah, you're like, I don't like it, so therefore I'm not going to watch it, there's, which is fine. I don't care. I, you know, if you don't want to listen to my show, don't listen to my show. Uh, our I, show, our show. But yes. you know what I mean. I know. I'm being you know, funny. I'm just talking out loud. You know, if you don't like what something, comes out of our mouth, don't listen to don't it. Listen. Change the channel. Go listen to something else. If you don't like a TV show. Click change channels. Turn if you don't like them, if you go to the movie theater and don't like the movie, get up and walk out. I've done ask for, it. Ask for a refund. Say the movie sucked. I've got up and walked out of a movie before. You know, it's like trying to rewrite fucking history. Seriously. But the definition of history, the study of past events, particularly in human affairs. Okay. The whole series of past events connected with someone or something. History. Past. Okay. The past tense. Past. The past. The definition of cancel culture is a dri driven effort to retract support for a figure or business which has said or done something that you feel is objectable until they apologize or go underground, which is to basically disappear from sight. Well, I'm sorry, but cancel culture is trying to rewrite history, and some of the folks that they're trying to rewrite aren't around to apologize. Correct. But sorry, it also becomes 
a mob that forms to punish transgressors when they're perceived as committed some side of some sort of unsociable, unacceptable social behavior. Listen, I know, you know? I, I know my mouth spouts off stuff. For instance, um, I'm not going to apologize for something that happened a hundred years ago before I was here. But even so, let me give a good example. All right, you go ahead. People find the uh, rebel flag. Yep. To be offensive. unacceptable now. They, yeah, they find it offensive. It's offensive. Okay. But it's part of history. It's part of history. Right. But they find okay, so cancel culture went after the rebel flag. Yep. And they went after the TV show, The Dukes of Hazard, And they because went after every a, a, single person that had a rebel flag on the hood of their car because yep. that was a really cool car. The General Lee was a really cool car. It's part it was a cool show. I history. watched it growing up. It was, you know. I'm sorry. It's part of history. You can't even find that on reruns now. Nope. Because you, they canceled it. Exactly. They went after it the, so the, drastically. The, the TV stations the, are afraid to air it because of the fact of, uh, cancel culture put up such a stink mm -hmm. you know i mean come on and really people are scared to the say they support it because if you say you support I it i grew up watching it but people are scared to say they support it because if they do then cancel culture is going to come after them yeah well cancel culture can suck my ass Tell me how you really feel. I, oh, you don't want me to. This will be the this will be the longest censored beat ever. Be okay, but anyway, <laughs> it usually they usually go after a celebrity, but cancel culture goes after objects too. They go after statues. They go after exactly. Yeah, I mean they and, went on a rampage for all those statues in the south. And I get that they're offensive to people. I really do. But rather than destroy them, couldn't they have gone in a museum? That, yeah, exactly. That would have been they're still a whole part lot better. Of history. Exactly, like the Smithsonian, you know, or, or or a special museum that said this was wrong. Natural history. They, they could have gone museum. in a museum yeah. that said this was wrong, but this is part of our. This history. is our history, and we can't cancel history. We can't just pretend it never happened. Exactly. That's what they. That's what they think they can do. Oh well, I don't like it, so I can. I'll. I'll we're going to change it. And pretend it never happened. Okay, so and I think that's that's a bullshit way of thinking of things. So when you passively avoid, say, celebrities or brands that you disagree with, that's boycotting. Mm -hmm. Cancel culture is a choice that you make to act you're actively obsessed with causing harm yeah no, and you're not they're, happy they're, until that brand or that person doesn't exist right well look what they did to kevin hart yeah you know they they because of something he said in a in a, one of his comedy shows many we, many years ago yeah that cancel culture were like oh hell no and and, and he, he was supposed to host the he was oscars? supposed to oscars academy awards something one of those yeah. shows and and he it was like no screw you i'm not gonna apologize for something that i did years ago but he and, ended up doing it anyway well because his management team or somebody like i mean he he put up a fuss about it i mean he he stuck to his guns for the longest time yes. until it got to the point to where you know what they don't have anybody else to host your show, so please apologize because yeah, we apologize. need you. Plus, it was putting his career in danger. It was. So he it, ended up he ended up apologizing for whatever it was. I think the LBGTQ community got pissed at him for something. Which, by the way, we have no problem with. I have no problem with it. I have gay, uh, gay and lesbian, do. you know, nieces and nephews. Uh, yeah, you know, on both sides of our families. I got I got a multiracial family. We I, both I, do. You know, it's, so it runs in yours and mine, right? Oh, every, we're, yeah, you know, but that's not what this is about. This, no, is, this about is about cancel, cancel culture. culture, canceling shit that shouldn't be canceled because it's history, you stupid yes. idiots. Yeah, I called you all fucking stupid. So, cancel me if you want. So, so many celebrities have been caught up in the wave, like J.K. Rowling, she's the one that wrote the Harry Potter stuff, right? Right, yeah. She was called out for comments which were they thought were insulting to transgender people. Okay, mm -hmm. and singer uh, Lena Del Rey was criticized for a post which contrasted her with black artists. Okay. Okay. Um, and then and I that already, was all on Instagram. That was all on Instagram, you know, because, because everything's social nowadays. Yeah, and, we can't pick up the phone and call somebody. Well, and God forbid you. <laughs> I mean, gone are the days of hey, hey, what's up? 
Yeah. You know? So but, continue. I apologize. I didn't no, mean to step fine. on you. God forget God forbid you say something and I've misspoken when I've said something before. Hey, I've take had things a fact, out of people I've, people do take things out of context. Yes. You know, it's 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 a proven fact. It doesn't make it wrong. It doesn't make it right either. It, it, I'm sorry if you mis, misconstrue some of the things that come out of our mouth, especially my mouth. Sorry, go ahead. I've misspoken before. I've said things that I had looked up that I thought were correct mm -hmm. and later found out were wrong. But all I did was go back and say, hey, I had my facts wrong. I'm really sorry about it's that. It's like, oops. My bad. But Can't trust the internet, darling. I keep telling you that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Cancel culture was praised by some as giving a voice for the silent people. Okay. But others say it's slamming free speech. I happen to be on the one that says it's slamming free speech. I agree. Because we have a First Amendment right to do what we're doing right now. Yes, we do. If you don't like it, tune us out. Yes. And there's some whole big controversy about where the term cancel culture came from, you know? Okay. Some say it started back in the 80s with some songs or some TV shows or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't remember. I, I don't have that in front of me. And then others say it became came to use back in right around 2015 and then uh, was first coined by black Twitter users. Okay. And then they, as a means of calling out friends or acquaintances, and then it became part of the Me Too movement. Okay. Um, over allegations of, of sexual harassment or abuse and some of them were canceled right um like house of cards actor kevin spacey he was canceled from the last season and he's right. the face of the show right exactly he was he was canceled because he was canceled after allegations of sexual misconduct right but the whole show kind of got thrown under the bus too right Right. It wasn't just, they didn't just cancel him. They canceled the show. Yeah. They took it the all The ratings down. took a hit because oh, yeah. of cancel culture. Yes. Um, then there's the whole, you know, Trump getting canceled for everything that comes out of his mouth. <laughs> well, well. Former well, President Trump. Yeah, gets, former President Trump. Uh, you know, does have a tendency to. His mouth runneth over some, some, some of the time. Some of it's hilarious as hell. I would love to just do a show on that. But this show, there's two things we don't talk about on this show. Politics. Politics and religion. And religion. So because we're just they're the slide right on by him. They're the highest fine lines. You know, you tiptoe one way or the other, you're screwed. Yes. So, so, we're just so gonna, we we try to steer steer clear of that. So we'll skip over this part. We're just gonna tiptoe right past him and, and cancel. Everybody culture. knows that he runneth over, and that's all that needs to be said about former President Trump. Okay. So <laughs> if you look at cancel culture invading everyday life, it's affecting discriminatory behavior on an everyday basis. Okay. Okay. I already talked about um the Mulan actress. Yep. But like there was that Boeing executive, okay, he re ended up resigning over an article that he wrote 33 years ago that stated in it that women should not participate in combat. At the time, that was... When I was in the Army, women couldn't participate in combat. Yeah. Did I, I have an issue with it? I said, yeah, that's not fair, but I got over it. You had a temper tantrum, and they said, but hey, that it is what it is. And that's and how I it got was. over it. And the reason being is, if the daddy's not around, at least mommy's still around to take care of the babies. No, that wasn't it. But that, well, that, that was, was not that, the reason. That was not the, all right, so what's the reason? The reason they, they figured, said. They figured you guys couldn't handle it. You're just not going to let me finish a sentence today. Sorry. The I'm, in, reason, I'm in a rant mood. The reason was because they didn't feel that women could hold their own in combat. Are you kidding me? Some of these women could kick some man's serious that, ass. That was the reason. That's bullshit. They felt we would have problems killing people, and that's, shooting people, that's or what, carrying a comrade off the field. They thought I'd have a problem shooting someone. Wait a minute. <laughs> you ain't got no problem shooting somebody. You, just, you wanted to be a goddamn sniper. It's like, it's like, bitch, please. I want to shoot people. I know. But they were like, was, they, was, uh, they were like, sorry, Janet, you can't do that. Fine, and you give went, me the most money I can yeah, take. All right, fuck it then. Yeah, give me, pay me big bucks then. So anyway. Big bucks, no whammies. 
Anyways, back to cancel culture. Yes. Sorry. Sidetrack. That bad. got canceled. Okay. Uh -huh. Women not being in combat got canceled. That's one I agree with. Okay. Because we can hold our own. Yeah. However, there's the whole end of cancel culture thing. Okay. Numerous people have said, hey, let's put an end to cancel culture. Mm -hmm. um, Harper's Magazine had like 150 influential journalists and academics and whoever. Okay. Um, put out a letter and say the radicalization of cancel culture was restricting the free exchange of information of ideas. Uh, they said, if you're wrong, if you say the wrong thing, you're canceled, mm -hmm. which is kind of scary. It is. You know, um, I'm sure there was backlash on that. I'm sure there was. Uh, let me look. So critics dismissed the letter, said it was written and supported by powerful people who complain of backlash when people, people disagree with them but thankfully no one who signed the letter got canceled yet yes yes okay yes yes i'm sure i'm sure eventually we'll be on a list to be canceled but as long as <laughs> i fucking dare you try yeah as long as I, <laughs> as long as we're paying our own way uh, yeah yeah it's, like, yeah it's like you ain't you you ain't supporting my habits <laughs> so it's like i put this out we put this out on our own free will they can boycott us they can't cancel us. exactly Dare you try. Mm -hmm. it's only gonna make our show more popular <laughs> you're damned if you do damned if you don't <laughs> so cancel culture better or worse it's more and more prevalent I mean, not just in the U.S., everywhere. And the whole thing is, is, is cancer culture for the better or for the worse? You know, kind of like marriage, for better or worse. This is true. Do you take this culture? No, I don't. Listen. There's two sides to both, to there, everything. There is. There is. Um, they talk about cancer culture with victims of racism and sexis sexism to stop keeping their perpetrator secrets i agree okay that's a good thing yep okay totally agree with that I, yeah i mean like i said there's some things i agree with there's other things around i'm like i'm like seriously it's like like, like you and i talked about earlier duke's a hazards program yeah come on they did away with it because it had a flag a rebel flag on top of the car mm -hmm. the show was fucking hilarious yeah I mean, come on. Who didn't want to drive that car and jump all the rivers? I, and seriously, right? I mean, come on. And I wanted to do the and run moonshine. Come on. I, I, oh, That's like a girl's dream. Do the hood slide. <laughs> no, running moonshine was my dream. Well, that too. I mean, yeah. come on. So hang with Daisy. You hang with Daisy. How many years did you have her? Daisy Duke. I meant Daisy the cat. I meant Daisy Duke. Oh, that Daisy. Mm -hmm. That's why they're called Daisy Dukes, you know. I know, right? So <laughs> she started she started a trend. They're coming back, the Daisy Dukes. They never went away. They never got they didn't get canceled. What the hell, cancel culture? Yeah, right. <laughs> Come on, who wants to walk down who wants to see people's hoochie walking down the street? <laughs> Come on, cancel culture. Get with the fucking program. You're canceling the wrong shit. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. Amen. Amen. All right. All right. We, we, we had our pause. I'm with the show. I'm with the show. <laughs> so sometimes it's considered a platform for bullies. What, cancel culture? Yeah. I believe it. But I think it's just as much a platform for haters that think they're being bullied because of who they are mm -hmm. trying to say this nicely <laughs> and who they represent uh -huh. in society uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay 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 even though half the time the people who are saying that have far more power and are far richer than anybody i know okay um but they're all out for canceling every everybody and i can give you a really good example go ahead the women of the show the view okay for the most part i think they're all into cancel culture okay um maybe not megan mccain okay but for the most part they're all for cancel this cancel this cancel this cancel this and i'm not even talking politics 
Right, but they're but they seem they're to all, want to get rid of everything. In my mind, I feel they're all politically fired up. Yeah, I th I think Whoopi needs to go back to acting. Joy Behar needs to go back to being a comedian, and the others need to go back wherever they came from. Yeah. I don't know because I don't haven't watched it in a long time. Right, but anywho, yes, but those are people that what do they got to be worried about about cancel culture? What the hell does it have to do with them? They're tell not, me they're they have still on the air. Tell me their <laughs> their life has suffered. Tell me how they have suffered. Tell me how Joy Behar and Whoopi have suffered. They haven't. They figured out a way to keep their show going. Yeah. Even to a pandemic. Their show's been going fine. They're it's making like, millions of dollars. Yeah. You know. They're making money, money, money. Yeah. They're fine. They've got tons of fans and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And money in the bank and houses to prove it and everything else. But yeah, that's just how I feel. But people say, oh, you just hope for the best. Right. No, you can't just sit and hope for the best when it comes to something like this. So... <sighs> It kind of has the same feel to it as cancel culture, but I'll give you an example. Okay. In my opinion. Okay. Growing up in the trucking company, trucking industry. Yeah. I can remember hearing jokes about different trucking companies. Okay. I am not going to name any company. Okay. I remember making a joke to my dad one time about one of them. Mm -hmm. And my dad said, Janet Marie, I raised you better than that. Okay. I said, but dad, it's funny. But that is fucking hilarious. I never swore to my dad. You know but better. That, I, I know. You I, know I, better than that. I mean, come on, Pops. He'd have knocked funny. me in the next week, even when he was 90. May he rest in peace. Yes. Anyway, he said, I raised you better than that. He said, the people that started that company, he knew them. Right. Was a father and son. They started the company in the 60s, and they had one truck. Yep. And they built it up to an, a national company. And they have a fleet of trucks and a fleet of drivers, and they put hardworking people to work, and they give them their first job for a lot of them. Mm -hmm. And the person that you're degrading might be their first job. They might have trained to put, they might have paid to put these people through school, which a lot of times they do. Mm -hmm. And it could be their very first job, and you have no right to degrade anybody else for the job they Damn choose you, to do. Damn you, Janet! How dare you tell your dad that joke? Don't even. <laughs> I probably would have told him the joke. Come on. You told me. Uh, anyway. What? What joke would that so, be? Not saying it. Not so anyway. It. Not saying it. You know you want that. No, I don't. Okay. So anyway. Fine. Fine. Don't say. <laughs> Anyways, back to the show. When people are telling these types of jokes. <laughs> yep. They're canceling out and they're not just boycotting that company because they're degrading them and they're talking bad about other drivers. In a way, they're they're canceling out that company. They're canceling out those jobs that those people have because right. you might not think of it that way because you're an experienced driver, but you take a brand new driver like my niece who's in school. Mm -hmm. She hears enough of those jokes about one of those companies. She's going to be like, I don't want to yeah, drive for them. Yeah. Why would I want to do that? Have you heard what people say? It's a perfectly fine company. There's nothing wrong with that company. Now, all those people that know, now, now all those people that say those jokes about that company. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they were down and out and had to go somewhere, where do you think they're going to go? They're going to go to someplace like that. Someplace I like know that. someone that drove for years, got a DUI behind the wheel of a rig. Mm -hmm. Nobody oh, would hire that's him. Crazy. He made all the jokes about that company, and guess where he's been working since then? Because for they, that company. they were the, one, they they're were the, the ones, ones that gave him shot. a second chance. Yep. They're, they're the ones that gave him the shot. Yeah. And yet, now he's like, he's like, y'all yeah, can go suck it. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's a type of cancel culture when you tell a joke about a company that's not true. This is true. Yeah, to me, you know, yeah. you're, you can sit there and laugh all you want. No, I I, I already went it, round with one person online about this today. I I'm I, I, I'm laughing because of the way it, it's like you said something and I said something and it and it it, it made it made it sound funny the way I said it. I, I, and I'm not all. funny. I'm I just. Get it. I'm, no, I'm... <laughs> the look on your face. Whatever, whatever, Janet. Whatever, click. Oh, you did not click it. I'm click, just gonna have to. I just have to turn you off. Okay, so for people <laughs> don't know, when we say click, that's us hanging up. We're on hanging each other. up on each other. That's it. So it's a cliche, you know. Yeah, I really... know. Hope for the best type of thing. It's yeah, yeah, like you said, you know, it's it's BS. Yeah. Um. 
so then I know that you had pulled some stuff up. I don't know where your charts all went, but I don't know. They're here somewhere. Hold on. For, I was going to talk about the 40, Go ahead. 44 percent of Americans say they've at least heard a decent amount about the phrase cancel culture. Twenty two percent of those heard a great deal. And this was just a survey of about ten thousand ninety three, ten thousand one hundred, something like it adults last September of 2020. Yeah, that was at the, 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 the Pew Research Center. Yeah, Pew Research. And the larger share, 56%, said they've heard nothing or not a lot about it. Okay. Okay. But the most common responses talked about accountability. 49% of the people that were familiar with the term said it describes actions people take to hold people accountable. Right. I agree. Which, which yeah, like I said. But. I agree, but. But, exactly. I know. The definitions also discussed how actions can be misplaced, mm -hmm. ineffective, or, as I agree, cruel. I agree. 14% said that a fair amount described it as a form of censorship, mm -hmm. like with uh, media yep. or letters, um, restriction of free speech, yep. media, mm -hmm. or history being erased. Exactly. Like. Something as stupid as the General Lee. Yeah, exactly. Because that's TV history and it's got a flag on it, you know? So it, it's got the rebel flag. So they're erasing anything with the rebel flag on it, including TV shows and movies. You know? I agree. I, I agree. I wonder if they boycotted Deliverance. Isn't there a rebel flag in Deliverance? I'm going to have to watch it again to see. I don't know, but couple of those actors are no longer with us. Yeah, Ned Beatty. Burt Reynolds. And Ned, yeah, and Ned, but Ned, Ned Beatty, who just recently died, said that was his greatest acting moment. Yep. I, I believe those the, the two that are no longer here actually got awards for that movie. I am not sure. I believe. Um, but 12% of the people that were surveyed said the term cancel culture is described as mean-spirited attacks used to cause people harm. I agree. So some people are like, well, that's only 12%, but think about it. That's more than one in 10 people feel it's mean spirited. Yep. Okay. And right here is two out of the 10. So we're, we're at 20%. Yeah. Right. Just sign me up. High five. <laughs> um, people canceling anyone they disagree with consequences for anyone who's been challenged. Like if I challenge someone, mm -hmm. boom, the, Easiest form of cancel culture, block someone on Facebook. <gasps> God forbid you get what? blocked on social media. You know what? Screw that. I'm going to unfriend everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Not just, no, unfriend is ignoring. All right. I'm going to Blocking is canceling. Oh, all right. So I'm blocking everybody. That's it. Oh, wait. We were just talking about. Not on the... Facebook. Well, I'm personally on Facebook, but. Well, the social media. The show's not on Facebook. Yeah, but on social media. We were just talking about that. When you unfriend someone on social media, like Facebook, for instance, uh -huh. you're just ignoring them. Wow. They can still see you. <sighs> when you block someone, you're canceling them. That's, That's right. cancel culture. That's like, you can't see my shit, bitches. That's, I can say whatever I want about you and you can't see it. That's right. I'm blocking your ass. But anyone they disagree with anyone who's been challenged it's an attack on traditional american values it's a way to it's also a way to call out issues like racism or sexism uh, yep, yep. but it's also a misrepresentation of what people do their actions exactly just because you see something and you perceive it one way doesn't mean that's how the person intended it if you think someone's doing something a certain way Ask them. I'm sorry. Don't Every, judge them before you ask them. Everybody's got this boo-boo feelings going on, you know, yeah. nowadays. It's like. That's you know, a whole nother rant. Uh, it's, it has to do with uh, I kids. Mean, but the boo-boo feelings and everything, you know, with cancel culture, changing history. It's just like, seriously, it's history. It's like, let's live and learn. You know? Mm -hmm. let's, let, let's keep moving forward. You know, the world, world will be a better fucking place. I agree. <sighs> Damn you, cancel culture. Is cancel culture trying to silence us? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I don't mean that personally. <laughs> oh, my Lord, Patrick. I, I, uh, I don't know. I thought it was. I don't know. They're trying to rewrite history. Yeah. 
Okay. The, 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 somebody, somebody wrote, cancel culture means rewriting history and stopping the acknowledgement of facts because they're offensive to a racial, religious, ethnic, economic group, etc. What? Okay, someone, Their boo-boo feelings got hurt. Someone else wrote, it's taking away the First Amendment rights. Yep. And I agree. Like I said, <laughs> too bad for your boo-boo feelings. It's history, yeah, okay? It violates people's civil rights, so. You can't rewrite history. But they're doing it. But you, it, the facts are still there. There are people that have passed down the history generation to generation. I'm not going to apologize what, what, for something that I had nothing to do with. Don't scream in my ear. Before I was even born. Take the atom bomb down just a little. Atom bomb being taken down. Here okay. You go. There you go. Let me turn the volume down so that way I don't blow your ears off. Is that better? Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'm like, wow. But I, I'm still not going to apologize for, for something that I had I, nothing to do with. I agree. And my favorite is when people say that I, and I, you remember this, yeah. I personally was blamed mm -hmm. for slavery, Yep. for Columbus taking over America, and he never stepped foot in the U.S. Right. Anyways. Um, for all the Native Americans that were slaughtered. Yep. What was the other thing? There was like five things that I, I was blamed. There, there was, was like five things I was blamed for. And, and you weren't even born then. My great, great, great grandpa I know, wasn't even born. I, I know. It's like, it's like and you, you, my you, family was still in Ireland back then. But yet, the guy told me I was <sighs> personally responsible exactly. for all that. And all I could think, pardon my language, but are you stupid as fuck or what? Yeah, I, How can you blame me for something that happened? Not only before my family came here, but before like written history of my family pretty much existed. Yeah, exactly. You know? Blaming me for stuff that because happened in the 17 and be 1600s. Because you're a white chick, then you need to apologize. Yeah, no. I'm sorry. And I don't need to pay for it either. I'm not paying for it. I'm not apologizing for it. If you don't like it, try to cancel me, bitches. Peace yeah. out. Rant <laughs> over. Goodbye. Rant over. <laughs>